Guys, I absolutely really want to encourage you to watch the entire video all the way through. I have to show you this blitz. I think it's a game changer because of what it does against the gun bunch whenever they max protect. So as you can see here, I'm going to block both the tight end and the running back. And if you look at this defense, what you're going to see is you're going to see looping A-gap and edge pressure coming completely clean at the quarterback. What's good guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, we upload new videos like this every single day. So make sure to subscribe and if you want to make sure that you never miss one of these videos, turn on those notifications by hitting that bell icon. Um, it's completely free to do so and it always will be. Okay guys, so I'm super, super stoked to share this video with you. This is a phenomenal pressure um, and it really not sending, it, it, it's really simple to set up. That's what I really like about it and also, there's a lot of things we could do to make the coverage even better. Um, we share that more so in the nickel triple defensive ebook. So if you want to get my full nickel triple defensive guide, it's on sale for just $15 in the description. But I want to show you this blitzing concept because I think it's really, really significant and a significant development into the reason why the nickel triple is such a good defense in this year's game. Uh, it's good against any formation and it's really specifically very decent uh, and very above average against the gun bunch. So nickel triple, we're going to call any play. It doesn't matter what play. I personally like to call the cover three, but you could call any play you want. And all we're going to do from a setup perspective um, is we're going to show blitz. We're going to man up the running back or we're going to globally blitz our linebackers. We're going to man up the running back with the linebacker that is on the line of scrimmage in the, in the B gap, which is Williams. So we're going to man him up and then we're just going to blitz the safety off the left edge. Now, where you stand, I think, is really important. We're going to stand kind of right in here, somewhere in here, okay? And at the snap of the ball, what you should see is you're going to get some kind of pressure. You're either going to get edge heat from the left. Oftentimes, you will get multiple people coming in completely free, okay? Most of the time, you're going to, you're going to pretty much at least get this safety. If they don't block anybody... You're going to get crazy heat. You're going to get crazy, crazy heat. I like to play hard flats on this. You could even, um, you know, man up the backside. We're going to force them to block somebody. Um, but anyways, let me just show you what happens here. So again, as you see there, that time we got the edge heat. Now, I will tell you that most of the time, if they don't block anybody, you will get A-gap pressure uh, from your safety. Or not your safety, but from your defensive tackle. Okay, from your defense tackle right here. Um, and I'm not getting it right here. It might be because I've ran this blitz a little bit, but but you're going to get pressure. Just trust me. You're going to get somebody free if they blitz. It's not. I don't want to spend too much time on if they block everybody because obviously you're going to get somebody free. I think you're, sen you're sending six, right? We're sending six here, and we're manning somebody up on the running back. So, of course, we're going to get somebody free. And, but as you see there, we get A gap. We get double A gap and edge pressure. And that's where this blitz becomes really good is when they start blocking people. So to show this first, I'm going to block the running back. And the beauty of this is we're going to get really good pressure if they block the running back. So I'm going to stand like right here. And what I like to do with this is I like to go down into the left. I feel like that's the best way to run this blitz. So down into the left. And as you see, we're getting edge heat against the blocked running backs. So we're getting good pressure. Um, we're getting really good pressure against a blocked running back. Let me show that one more time just to show that it's not a fluke. We're going to get pressure. If they block a running back, you will get pressure on the quarterback. As you see here, we get A-gap looping pressure, and we get the edge pressure super clean. Now, let me show you what happens if they block a tight end. You're still going to get pressure. This guy, you don't want him to go into the gap. Um, otherwise, he's not going to be very successful for you. So that's why I like to show blitz first and then blitz my linebackers. But let me just put the tight end on a delay fade. And what you'll see here is we're going to get somebody free. That time we got the left side in. And again, a, it will change. Um, it will change based off of a lot of different factors. If they're sliding their line, if they're there's all kinds of things that will change who comes in. The most consistent to me is the safety. But I have found that you're going to get a lot of pressure from this from this play. So as you saw right there. We get pressure. Now, let me show you the final piece of this, which is a max protect bunch, uh, which is arguably the best way to block in Madden 22 is to max protect your bunch. So you're going to see here, we're sending six, they're blocking six, snap of the ball, 
And what you should see is we're going to get looping pressure or we're going to get a gap disengage or we're going to get a gap looping pressure as well. So let me show it to you again. And again, your user is somewhat important. Um, you know, I'm not doing a great job. You want to hold left trigger right down here just like this. Snap at the ball, hold left trigger. And as you see there, that time we didn't get our a gap looper, but we did get the disengage. Um, oftentimes your a gap guy will loop through the middle. Uh, oftentimes your A-gap guy will loop through the middle. So I want you to kind of be aware of that. And again, a lot of this comes down to where you're standing. Um, so you see something like this. There you see there's the looping A-gap pressure that we're looking for. That's really my favorite blitz because it's right in their face and they can't get away from it. They can't roll away from it. You've got so much pressure, so much edge pressure coming completely clean at this. They're not going to be able to roll away from the pressure. So that's why I absolutely love this. So again, just like that, there you see there's your looping A-gap right down the middle. And I love this. And oftentimes times you will get edge heat as well so you will get the looping a gap and you will get edge heat um again i'm just going to hold left trigger and then i'm going to run back into coverage so hold left trigger run back into coverage and as you see there that's how we we got picked up on the looping pressure but our edge pressure came completely free so you don't even have to, the other thing that's really nice about this is you don't have to hover necessarily like down here you can but you can hover back in here as well and if I just hold left trigger and do that, you're going to see there the looping pressure and the edge pressure coming completely free. So you can really have a lot of freedom with your user, even though they're max protecting and you're only sending six. And oftentimes, like I said, you'll get at least one free, if not two. OK, so here I'm just going to hold left trigger. I'm not even going to come down. I'm just going to bail instantly. And as you see right there, that time the edge pressure came super fast. And again, the, the, the defense will change significantly in, in practice mode from practice mode to head to head. I think that the blitzes will work significantly better in the game for you guys, especially if you're an ultimate team. I'd recommend putting the unpredictable ability on it. But as you see, I mean, this thing just absolutely screams. And the cool part about it is oftentimes you will get a gap pressure. Now, let me show you again. So if I just sit like this and let's say they don't block anybody, Look at this right here. You've got crazy A gap pressure coming from the right and you've got edge pressure. So they're going to block somebody. Now, if they block a running back, again, we'll just run through these real quick. But if they block a running back, again, you're just holding left trigger right here. They block a running back. And as you can see, you've got A gap pressure, double A gap pressure coming against a blocked running back. So then what they have to do, they absolutely have to block a tight end. Well, if they block a tight end, now they leave themselves significantly vulnerable to the looping pressure and to the other edge pressure off the side. So as you see here, your looping pressure and your edge pressure becomes a much more significant issue. So then they say, well, now I've got to max protect. Well, if they max protect, and like we showed you a couple minutes ago, oftentimes you get this looping A gap pressure that is really, really good. So again, just hold left trigger, come out, and there you see that is a gorgeous double at double pressure against max protect gun bunch and again all we're doing with our user really important is we're going to hold left trigger like right here and then we're just going to slide to the right so just slide to the right it takes the running back out of the way and as you see it's a natural flow into the cover three defense so this is truly probably right now my favorite blitz in the game so thanks for watching the video i hope you enjoyed it this is just the blitzing aspect. If you want to learn more pressures and if you want to learn the entire coverage schemes of how you can shut down specific formations and the run defenses and the goal line defense and learn how you can use nickel triple as an every down defense for every single formation in this game, you can get the entire nickel triple defensive ebook on sale in the description of this video. All you have to do to get the defense is go down to the description of the video, click the link that I put down there for you. It'll take you right to the website and you can get the entire defense for just 15 bucks and it updates all year long for you. Anything that we need to change, any new concepts we find, you get the nickel triple guide for the life of Madden 22. So I think it's a great deal for you. If you want to get access to it, it's at the link available in the description.